Hey, it's Nikki Thompson. I've just been on a walk with the dogs, big walk this morning. And I wanted to talk to you today about how do you start adding more pleasure into your life? And this is a question that came up um, last week. I was doing a podcast interview um, and the, the, the host had an incredible live audience. So they got to ask questions. And one of the questions was like, how do I start? Where do I start with this? How do I start embracing my sexual energy? Like, what does that even look like? Do I have to be having sex every day? And this was such a great question. And the advice that I gave to her was that, um, you know, this is all about adding more pleasure into our life because pleasure is a big thing that we seem to think is like more of a luxury as opposed to, you know, a key element to having more balance, more fun, more energy, um, more pleasure in our days, more, you know, more of our balancing the masculine feminine side of us we tend to these days sink swing mostly to our masculine to get things done to you know tick things off your list of things to do and all of those things even taking care of everybody and you know that's our because it's so much more um, rewarded and seen as worthwhile that we tend to swing to that side and so adding more pleasure into our life can really help us embrace that sexual energy, help us balance out the masculine feminine energies that we have. Um, because if we're always in the masculine, we can feel really exhausted. So one of the things I love to encourage women to do is to start small. What does bring you pleasure? Now, I thought that was starting really small. That when I hosted my workshop last year, People didn't know what brought them pleasure because they hadn't really thought about it and they never really given themselves time or permission to think about it. So some of the things that bring me pleasure are indoor plants, are um, having essential oils through the house and diffusers because then it smells beautiful. Um, it's having pretty candles. It's um, making sure like my bed is made and my bed looks beautiful. That's pleasurable for me because it looks pretty. Um, pretty things make me feel nice but on the other hand I don't like clutter so I don't like to have lots of shit everywhere but I think about everything in my home is purposely there I don't have stuff that's been forgotten I don't have massive piles of paper that's unnecessary I don't have just shit everywhere because I can't be bothered to tidy up I like to tidy up because it feels fun to me and having a beautiful and organized and tidy space feels good for me so I always give people the advice to think of what, what is pleasure for you in terms of your environment. I always find that a great starting point uh, looking at the things in our home because it's like these constant little reminders of what is beautiful in your space, um, you know, and pleasure. It's reminding you constantly about what is pleasure and having more pleasure in your day. So when I walk into my office and I want to create, my office is beautiful and I feel pleasure already. When I wake up in the morning, I love my bedroom. You know, there's no clutter in my bedroom. I don't have piles of, um, you know, unfolded washing or anything like that in my bedroom. My bedroom's like a beautiful space. And so, uh, it, you know, it's constantly reminding me I wake up in pleasure. So these are the types of things that you can start to think about. My arm's getting a bit sore. Um, to get started. So what does bring you pleasure? And it could be having beautiful um, plates and bowls in the kitchen. For me, I bought all new plates and bowls um, probably last year and I love them. They're like this like um, hippie style blue and black kind of, anyway, they're beautiful. I love them. Um, maybe it's getting really beautiful cutlery so that every time you're eating, it's pleasure. I love having glass bottles of water ready to, for me to just grab and drink. Um, so it's already there. I like having um, hot chocolate out of my fa favorite mugs, you know. And so all these things are little reminders of having more pleasure in my day. And we're kind of conditioning our mind to constantly be looking for pleasure in our day. We're conditioning our mind to see that more when, we go, when we're out and about. Um, because we have these little reminders throughout our home of what is pleasure, what do we enjoy, and what is beauty. So then we're kind of conditioning ourselves to constantly look for that. So that's my advice for where she got started. And then I encouraged her to go and check out the 10 day orgasm challenge that I have. This is a has like um, journal prompts, it's got videos, it's got resources to show you how to start really tapping into this pleasure side of you. 
as well as how to how does this all work it's like a really intro gu like guide I guess to show you how to do that it's 10 days of videos it's free um, you can check it out on my website nikkithompson.com I'll put a link below um, or a, there's a link in my bio um, and this can kind of get you started on moving forward with having more pleasure in your day so I hope you enjoy that and I will see you again tomorrow bye